onboard air for a first gen Sequoia? I got you. Say welcome to Treehouse Overland. <laughs> welcome to Treehouse Overland. Do you like camping in the treehouse? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. All right, so I've been looking for a mounting bracket for the ARB twin compressor for the 0107 Sequoia, but as you know, not everybody knows how cool these things are yet. They're starting to catch on. So, I gotta make my own. Oh, oh just barely. So I located a spot in the engine bay. Right here. Uh, I had to move this thingamajig. Someone wants to tell me what this is. I'm sure I could find out with a little research, but Anyway, there's no moving parts inside here, so I'm just going to mount it to somewhere else, figure that out later. And then I started with cardboard strips, bent it like this, like this, you know, and so on. So, you one here, one here, you touch them down here, give me a flat place to mount the compressor. By the way, I started with just this one inch by one eighth inch flat bar stock. Six feet of it. The hardware store is like 15 bucks. And I came up with this shape. So the compressor has got eight mounting points and they want you to use two of them. So that's two of them. That wasn't cutting it for me. So I had to get another piece here. All right, this gives me three mounting points. Okay, and I can give you a better idea where these are gonna go. So there you go, it's a flat surface. Just clears the air filter. There. And yeah. I think it'll be fun.
All right, so it's been overnight and they're dry and good. I'm gonna want the wires on the left side against the wall of the truck. These are the bolts that come with the compressor. Got a bolt, block washer, and washer. So I'm gonna do this, and this, and this. It's 10 millimeter. This one, this one. And it occurs to me now that I'm gonna need a fifth and a sixth bolt. So, it's looking like it might be something. All right, so I dug around in my pile and I found two more 10 millimeters, so good to go. Now these things aren't gonna go anywhere, these legs. I'll show you guys what I've decided to do with this. I'm gonna take it, put it like that, metal screw, and then down here, there's also gonna be another place for a screw. I'm thinking this guy with the hex head. Eight millimeter screw. You know what? This thing's not going anywhere. I really don't think I need another screw. It's just as shaky as it was when it was in the truck. I just wonder if this, this looks like it's a heat sink. I don't know how it gets. I'm gonna do a little driving, then I'll pop ahead and feel it. I'll let you guys know. But for now, she's not going anywhere. Now that opens up plenty of room for the compressor. I already made sure this clears barely. And that's pushed right up the pin stuff metal so and start drilling some holes plenty of room for the wiring cool take a few seconds to clean it up now because I'm not gonna be able to get under it afterwards I know my engine bay is horrific you guys feel this I live half a mile from the Oceano Dunes and yes it is destroying my vehicle I can't help it. It's so fun, but sand just gets everywhere. So, you gotta pay to play. And guys, I think I mentioned that I'm a complete DIYer. <clears throat> Learn as I go. And I know it's not gonna come out perfect. And I'm okay with that. This is just an object. It isn't my life, it enhances my life. vice grips to each one up top. It spun a little bit till it jammed up and then I hit it with the impact and then hand tightened it. It's a crescent. This baby is in there. Plenty of room for the hood to close. All right, time for wiring.
We're gonna get the wiring for the switch through the firewall. If you can see down there, I got some stuff running down there. Not very pretty, but I pulled that plug and just ran. And I ran those wires two years ago, you guys, and there's, there's not one sign of chafing or rubbing or damage or anything, so push this through. That's how easy it was. Dunk it. Gotta get these out. Come on. Sorry. fingers here. Oh, damn. Look at that. Red and yellow wire. Isolating switch, switch one, and switch two. And I can't find anywhere in the manual where it tells me which one actually turns on the compressor. I'm gonna guess it's the isolating switch though. And if not, I'll try all the others. So we're gonna go black and black. I'm actually just gonna push them on a little bit until I find out if they're correct. I've broken these things trying to yank them off before. Blue white is down here, red is here, red yellow is here. And connect these two. This here is just the illumination switch so that the switch lights up when I turn the headlights on. I'm not worried about it. Maybe I'll do it later, maybe not. The rest is just wiring. right yeah big boys 40 amps each there's only one thing left to do oh yeah we're in test mode here Got her. Just room enough for all this stuff. So yeah, it was isolation switch, guys. Not switch one, not switch two. I imagine those are for the air lockers. Alright, so coming out of the compressor is this swivel. 
short from Harbor Freight. And I'm only using it because I don't, I don't have an elbow piece right now. Coming from that is the 18 inch Vier leader hose. That's gonna screw into this, which is just basically allows you to break through a wall and then screw it up real tight. It's threaded all the way through. And last but not least, we're gonna roll shot from Harbor Freight. I did have a check valve, but upon doing a little bit more research, I decided not to use it. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys use these, if you don't have an air tanks, because I'm, I'm running only the compressor, no air tank. Right along with me, maybe you can move a little bit off the... This is the hose. Next, I'm going to go up from here. And you can see it popping out. Alright, All right, so that's in there. There was no way for me to film that, you guys. All I did was poke it through from underneath, put that jagged looking washer, and then jammed up. Yes. Hose that has a swivel and we saved it for this end. Alright, so look at this. Thank <laughs> you.